and the weight of history in your hands is heavy. Who said that quote? Was it Winston Churchill fighting Nazis or was it Tom Verducci filling out a, a, a baseball Hall of Fame ballot and leaving the greatest baseball player of all time, Barry Bonds, off of it? That was JFK's inaugural address. <laughs> right oh, before, wait. Ask not what the writers can do for you. Ask, you know, ask not what baseball can do for you, Big Cat. Ask what you can do for baseball. And in this case, it's leaving off four of the greatest players of all time. So it is Baseball Hall of Fame uh, season. When the writers get their shine, when the writers get to tell you how important their job is to decide the fates of uh, the players we love to watch, which, just as an aside, I don't know why it's up to the writers. It should be the players. It should be players voting peers like, hey, who was the hardest guy to ever get out? How about Barry Bonds? He should go in. Either way, Tom Verducci, we had two, a few few different things that, that happened today. Tom Verducci released a video that I'm saying I'm going to throw it out there is going to be unintentionally the funniest video of 2021. It started it was Tom Verducci sitting in his uh beautiful sunlit office or study in his house uh in some prob I don't know probably like suburban Connecticut. Uh big and guy, I guarantee you he just calls that his voting room. He uses his it voting once a room. year to sit yep. he sits down he he's got like a specially engraved letter opener that he uses mm -hmm. to open up the ballot and then he sits down with the one with like a quill pen and he does it every <laughs> year the same way and so the video started uh we'll put a couple clips in but it started the weight of history in your hands is heavy the baseball hall of fame vote is a triumph in minimalism it's a fucking piece of paper, dude. And then he went, this is the best part about the Baseball Hall of Fame and these stupid fucking reporters that think they are the most important people in the world. He essentially is doing a love letter to a piece of paper and the simplicity of voting via mail. And it's like, hey, that's not something we should applaud in today's day and age when you could fucking email your vote in and not have this entire process. He essentially was like, yeah, look, Baseball Hall of Fame sends me this. They don't even stamp it because they're cheap, and I got to send it back. And isn't that just so fucking pretty? It's like day baseball games in the World Series. It's like, I think he said it's like a hot dog in the bleachers. It's like none of those things, Tom Verducci. You are, you sucked your own dick for fucking six minutes with this video, and I still loved it. Well, it's perfect because day games in the World Series, this is like back when nobody could watch baseball on television. Like people missed World Series games because they were at work. Now you can watch it on TV. Everyone can watch it. You tell me which is better. To him, it's like, yeah, it was only when a select few could partake <laughs> in this activity. That's when it was great. The video was, uh, it was like the celeb singing Imagine video. It's that video of 2021 yes. where it's that self-important. They should just have, they should have baseball writers with like you 2 and Bruce Springsteen in the background doing their own version of the Imagine video. And it's, it's ridiculous because Barry Bonds is a fucking Hall of Famer. So yes. he's making a promotional video showing about, you know, like how great this process is while we're leaving off one of the biggest players, one of the biggest parts of baseball history that's ever existed. It's it's ridiculous. And I'd like to ask uh, the writers, how many of you used uh, substances and tools that weren't around for the for the old days of baseball writing? Do you use the Internet? Guess what? Back yep. in the day, they had to file it using a typewriter. Sounds like it's easier for you to do. You should be judged against the people that you compete against, not against number. Basically, they're saying, I'm not going to vote these guys in because I don't think they're better than math. Yes. Readily available espresso shots. I can guarantee you they didn't have that in 1942. Diet like, Cokes? You could, nope. Diet Cokes? Right. Exactly. I mean, don't even get me started with, with the Adderall usage of baseball uh, writers. It ends, though, Tom Verducci, he goes this whole video, and then at the end he has the line. I mean, the fact that he's narrating his own video, too, is just so funny. He doesn't even realize that part. But he says that's – so he's talking about the Baseball Hall of Fame and this very important thing, the most important thing in, in the entire world is filling out your Baseball Hall of Fame vote, which, by the way, 14 voters just left it completely uh, blank, yep. which – credit to them that is that is true activism that is true standing up against the man but he ends it with this whole thing about how the baseball hall of fame is so important and he says that's when you truly understand the weight of what you hold in your hands and then he gets up out of his boating room 
and he s- walks in his sun drenched boating room and walks off without even mailing the fucking thing in. Yeah, I, what, what I, I love, love is, it. I, I like that the guys that did not file, the guys or girls that did not put a ballot in the mail and sent back in, they probably just don't care. They probably just didn't check the mail, and they're going to see it in there <laughs> like in a month and be like, oh, shit, yeah, here's my Hall of Fame vote. Meanwhile, Tom Verdu- Verducci is creating like uh, jerk-off instruction porn for himself. And I love that he's he essentially made this video um, because it's something that he would have wanted to watch a baseball writer do when he was growing up. Right. There's really it's no a love letter to himself. This. There's no yes, market it's a for love this letter to himself. It's 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 future Tom Verducci congratulating little Tom Verducci on growing up and getting a ballot for the Baseball Hall of Fame. And I have to I have to take my hat off to the baseball writers because they were very smart when they started the Hall of Fame because if you get in on the ground floor, it's like any award show out there. If you just declare that this is an award show that you're presenting, guess what? You have the power moving forward for all eternity and so then people just have to like market themselves to you and kiss your ass over the course of of the years so that you're the one that gets to gatekeep this institution that really has nothing to do with writing about baseball they think they think writing about baseball is more of a sport than playing baseball correct and jake make sure you put this in there uh give us a reminder that we need to make a video sucking our own dicks before the takey awards this year and how important it is the weight of history is in our hands every time we give out a fake mm-hmm. made-up award uh the other story i saw pft mark craig who writes for the athletic wrote a uh column that was titled i wanted to know why i felt so crummy about my 2021 hall of fame ballot so i asked a neuroscientist this is real. I cannot believe these people exist. I actually am so happy they exist because they make our job so easy. The fact that no baseball writers have even like a, a 1% of self-awareness makes our jobs easier because we can sit back and watch Tom Verducci write a love letter to himself and and jerk off in his, his boating room and then we can have a good laugh and be like, what the fuck is baseball doing? Leave it up to the fans. Let Wait, the fans vote. Think at- you just you you buried it. What did the neuroscientist say? Did he? I didn't. Did he I, have, I didn't. Was, is there a brain click. reason why he feels bad? About, maybe because you've convinced yourself over the years that you're so important that everybody should look up to you because you get to check a piece of paper. Did they even get a sticker? I don't even see a sticker yep. that says I voted on it. <laughs> Do you know what it is? I can tell you I didn't read the article, but I guarantee you the neuroscientist was like, hey, you know why you're you're having so much trouble with this? Is because you all made so much money writing about Barry Bonds and how baseball was back when Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire were hitting home runs, and now you're playing holier than thou. Yeah, that probably feels like you're a really shitty person because you are. Yeah, exactly. You're slapping the people in the face. <laughs> that made you all your money. That got you to this point. Because if you're at if you're at that point in your career where you're able to make a, a self documentary about your courageous votes, then you're definitely a guy that was on the come up in the nineties that was just <laughs> cashing the checks. And everybody knew that they were using steroids. This is why they should make the asterisk shaped wing of the Hall of Fame. There should be if you want to say like, okay, everybody that played in the nineties and early two thousands, there is there's looming doubt over whether or not you were on the juice. Just make a room in the Hall of Fame that's shaped like an asterisk and then put all the stuff in there that you have with these guys. Let them in and then see which room gets more attendance. The one where yeah. it's like in the dead ball era. I'm going to go see Three Fingers Mordecai's exhibit again. Or no, I'm going to go watch <laughs> Barry Bonds hit a home run 700 feet. They should actually, instead of making it the asterisk room, it should just say a big sign above it and say, these guys fucking ruled and you yeah. know it. Parentheses, yeah. fuck baseball writers. Yeah, I Mike Greenberg's dumb rules. We should give more power to baseball writers. We should actually <laughs> give them the opportunity to vote people out of the Hall of Fame. We should actually make them, we should pack the court, and it should just be only, the Supreme Court should just be the baseball writers. Well, I, I'm just saying, like, what if we made, like, 5,000 more baseball writers? If you've ever written the word baseball on the internet, boom, you're a Hall of Fame voter. I have a question for Jake, our darling Jake. Jake, I know deep down uh, there's been a point in your life where you aspired to be a curmudgeon baseball writer who decided who was making in the Hall of Fame. Do you still hold those feelings? I mean, yes, you're right. I My first <laughs> my first step into the business was as a writer. I was a sports editor for the Cypress Bay Circuit, our high school newspaper. <laughs> um, but... Not really anymore because I've positioned my stance to wanting to be a broadcaster, so I don't really envy 
uh, the people who are voting. I envy the people who are calling the big games. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. But, fair. Uh, but Jake, circuit. if you were offered a vote in the Hall of Fame, you would take it, right? Dumb. It would be an honor. Yeah. It would be an honor. It would be. An honor. I think that what they should do, they should have this be like an in-person ceremony where, but it's only like the most unathletic baseball writers. So the real heavy, sweaty, like. 400 pound guys with suspenders and comb overs. I want them in a room sitting like a jury and they bring the players up one by one, like they're on trial. And then just these fat slobs have to explain to like Barry Bonds or, or to Alex Rodriguez, like here's why I'm not voting you into the hall of fame and just see that dynamic in the real world at play. Yeah. Actually, you know what it should be is Tom Verducci has to strike Barry Bonds out to keep him out of the hall of fame. Yeah, Let's or get or beat him up. It on the field. Yeah. What about this? Wait, yeah. What if what if you give Tom Verducci a knife? Right, we're big into knives and guns in terms of our new rules this week. Give Tom Verducci a knife and then put him like on an acre of land with Barry Bonds, and Barry Bonds doesn't get any food or water, and see if Tom Verducci can kill Barry Bonds within a week. <laughs> I like it. The uh, most dangerous game, Jake. J- tell me this. I just want to make sure that our future is uh secure you know and not naming names but you know at least a couple people from your life as a big j journalist that watched that tom verducci video and they were like that was awesome yes okay good because i just want to make my sure, timeline yeah yeah i just want to make sure there are kids still out there that are watching like mitch album and and bob casas and tom verducci be super self-important and be like that is what i want to be well, Bob Costas is super important. So self, you forgot the word <laughs> yeah. self. Self important. He donates money to the student radio station. I got a lot of opportunities at. Oh wow! So you're he pays you off? No. Yeah, mm. he pay. That's okay. what happens. They pay off the future broadcasters so they won't say anything bad about him. I do. I, Actually, I like the idea. That, they should. There should be a yeah. height, not like a height limit in terms of you're too short. There should be a height limit in terms of you're too tall to vote for the Hall of Fame. So I only want mm-hmm. like Ken Rosenthal and Bob Costa. You have to be under 5'6 to vote for the Hall of Fame. 